In December 2004, thieves stole £26.5 million from the Northern Bank in the centre of Belfast. The Chief Constable blamed the robbery on the IRA. According to the latest US diplomatic cables released by WikiLeaks and published in The Guardian, the Irish government on the 4th of February 2005 had rock-solid evidence that Gerry Adams and Martin McGuinness are members of the IRA military command and for that reason the Taoiseach is certain they would have known in advance of the robbery. In another cable, in June 2005, the US ambassador to Dublin reported that the Taoiseach believes Sinn Féin leaders were aware of plans to rob the Northern Bank, even as they negotiated with him last fall. In January, Bertie Ahern and Gerry Adams publicly rowed about the Northern Bank robbery. This is it's very serious business that in a democracy, um, and that uh, those associated with a political movement are running an army, uh, and as successful as they might like to think they are, these, these, these are very worrying events. This morning, the Sinn Féin president, who strongly denies these claims, said they're not new and were the result of political rivalry at the time. There's a convoluted logic uh, that, that he uh, puts out that myself and Mark McGuinness, the Aliases, were members of the Army Council, so if the IRA did the Northern Bank, the Army Council must have known about that, and if the Army Council knew about it, then Mark McGuinness and I must have known about it as well. That's hardly evidence. Uh, I'm not and was not a member of the Army Council of the IRA. No, it was Martin McGuinness, and as we said at the time, we had no prior knowledge of this bank robbery. The diplomatic cables also allege the Celtic Tiger in the 1990s prompted the IRA to diversify into more sophisticated enterprises. IRA investments, it says, now include real estate ventures in Dublin, London and Spain. WikiLeaks also claim IRA funds are now seeping into resources available for Sinn Féin's political activities in the South. If they are involved in money laundering and property deals across the world, I'm not surprised. The only uh, slight uh, satisfaction is that they lost heavily, of course, we're told, in the uh, property crash some years ago. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't lose enough. December 2004 and a gang takes away £26 million in cash from the Northern Bank headquarters in Belfast city centre. Within weeks the police blame the IRA for the crime and the British and Irish governments make no secret of their fury with Sinn Féin leaders. In a cable dated February 2005, Washington's Dublin ambassador reports back on his discussions with a senior Irish official. The official says that Dublin has rock-solid evidence that Gerry Adams and Martin McGuinness are members of the IRA military command and for that reason the Taoiseach is certain they would have known in advance of the robbery.